five yards from that corner to the finish line. Hallowed ground, now sacred ground, a glorious stretch of road, especially from the vantage point of a champion. Ernst van Dijk from South Africa, father of two and a great, great spokesperson for this sport. He knows the thrill of winning Boston. He last did it in 2010. That's when he surpassed Gene Driscoll as the wheelchair racer, the racer of any kind, with more victories than any other, and the crowd now going crazy for Ernst Van Dyke. He was the first man to go sub-120 in the history of wheelchairs. There's been five guys since, but he's not on the record pace, but he's very close to it. 120 oh, and change. Coast it in. Ernst Van Dyke, our first champion in the 118th Boston Marathon, breaking the tape at the finish. 120 36 unofficially. A very fast time. And look at the race for second. I think there's two Japanese runners, I believe, chairs in that battle. Masazuma Sojima. Kota Hokanoe was the man we heard last was in this fight, but this is what you don't normally see at Boston, a dead sprint to the tape. <laughs> oh. I couldn't call no, it. They're not going to be able to call that one. That's why we have cameras now on the finish line. Oh. And Ernst Van Dyke in tears. Let him have his emotion. I'll compose him a little bit. Gave it all he had. Ten victories. Ten times of seven. If that was the end of his career, it would be a triumph that nobody can replicate. <laughs> and an honor for us to have hosted it here in Boston. Ernst Van Dyke coasting in, breaking a tape held by Officer Sean Collier's sister, Jennifer, and MIT Police Sergeant Richard Sullivan. <laughs> Wrapping his helmet around his bike, shaking hands. And now taking in the moment. We will hear the South African anthem in just a few minutes as Ernst Van Dyke receives the wreath, gold dipped from Greece, and accepts his place as the 10-time winner of the Boston Marathon.